everyone welcome back to arun commerce and management academy today's video is regarding evs subject that is environmental studies for ba bsc bcom bsw bba first year first sem this evs paper is for 40 marks and the time is 1 and 1/2 hour it includes section a and section b section a is short questions and it is for 10 marks section b is essay questions and it is for 30 marks today we'll see the important questions that is essay and short questions before going to start the video if you are new to our channel and who are not subscribed till now please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video let's start essay questions these essay questions you have to write minimum 3 and half to 4 pages okay question number 1 write an account on definition scope and importance of environmental studies here you need to write introduction definition scope and importance of environmental studies in detail question number 2 describe the structure of different components of ecosystem for this question first write the definition of ecosystem and write the components like different components of ecosystem means it includes two components first one is abiotic components and second one is biotic component these two components you have to explain in detail sometimes they may ask only abiotic or biotic components and then you can explain about component in detail question number 3 what is biodiversity write the types and describe briefly about genetic and ecosystem diversity for this question you need to write the definition and types like mainly biodiversity is of three types first one genetic diversity second one species diversity third one ecosystem diversity in this question you have to explain about the genetic and ecosystem diversity in detail or they must to explain only species diversity or genetic diversity so understand the question properly and write in detail question number 4 write an account on conservation of biodiversity here conservation refers to protection preservation management or restoration of biological resources as well as natural resources and the reasons for conserving uh, biodiversity include preserving the valuable natural resources for future generations the conservation of biodiversity is of two types first in situ conservation second one is ex situ conservation here you have to explain both in detail and another form of question is they may ask only ex situ conservation of biodiversity or in situ conservation of biodiversity then you have to explain only that type of conservation in detail question number 5 discuss briefly about the causes effects and control of water pollution here you need to write what is water pollution water pollution is contamination of water by various pollutants like domestic sewage infectious agents pesticides soil erosion and so on here we have to write about the water and uses of water water pollutants means how water is polluting like through domestic sewage infectious agents chemicals soil erosion water discharge by power plants and industries etc next the source of water pollutants it includes two types direct source of contamination indirect source of contamination next you need to explain causes effects of water pollution and control of water pollution question number 6 write an essay on causes effects and control measures of air pollution here same you need to write what is air pollution and classification of air pollution like natural sources like volcanoes forest fires and so on then anthropogenic sources it means man made sources like burning of wood industrialization mining wars aircraft and so on next effects of air pollutants and measures to control air pollution we have to write in detail number 7 write an account on disaster management 
Here write in detail about disaster management like definition and objectives and explain in detail. Okay. Disaster management deals with various types of disasters and measures of avoiding risks. It is a continuous process of groups, individuals, communities, the government and some non-government organizations. Manage the disasters to lessen the impact of risks. And the objectives like uh, protection of life and property against natural disasters, protection of environment, create awareness and so on. And also write regarding floods, earthquakes and cyclones. Question number 8. Explain briefly about renewable and non-renewable energy resources. Here first we have to write about energy resource. It means any material in the environment that can be used to generate energy for a useful purpose. It is of two categories. First one is renewable resources. It is also known as inexhaustive energy resource. It includes solar energy, wind energy, water energy and so on. Like we have to write in detail about solar power, wind power, tidal power, wave power, ocean thermal power, biofuels, biomass, biogas, etc. Next, non-renewable energy resources is energy source that are available in limited quantity. It includes fossil fuel like coal, oil, natural gas, etc. Here we have to explain about renewable and non-renewable energy resource in detail. Question number 9. Write in brief about water conservation rainwater harvesting, watershed management. From these three, they may ask anyone. These three are very important. First, we can see the water conservation. Here, you have to write about water importance and water conservation. Water conservation means using water efficiently to prevent its wastage and how we can conserve water in our daily lives and write the objectives, strategies and technical solutions to reduce water consumption. Next, rainwater harvesting. It is a method of collecting, storing and conserving rainwater from rooftops of buildings for agriculture production, domestic purpose or livestock watering. And write the types, principles, methods, components and advantages of rainwater harvesting. Next, watershed management. It is a process to guide and organize natural resources in a watershed including land. This management of land resources is aimed to provide goods and services without adversely affecting soil, water and other natural resources. Write its aims, functions and objectives. Question number 10. Comment on the role of information technology in environment and human health. So here you have to write the role of information technology in environment and the role of information technology in human health. Question number 11. Why does India move from non-renewable energy resources to renewable energy resources? Here in general, you have to write why we moved from non-renewable to renewable energy resources and also write the advantages of renewable energy resources. Question number 12. Ecological Pyramid and Types Ecological Pyramid is a graphical representation of food chain levels in the form of pyramids. And the types of ecological pyramids are three types. Pyramid of Numbers, Pyramid of Biomass, Pyramid of Energy. You have to write in detail. Next, short questions. These short questions, you have to write the answer minimum 15 lines to 20 lines. Global Warming Wildlife Protection Act, Ozone Layer Depletion, Decomposers, Food Web, Food Chains, Hot Spots of Biodiversity, Solar Energy, Human Rights, Women Welfare, Child Welfare, Ill Effects of Fireworks, Biodiversity Types, Rainwater Harvesting, Forest Act, Floods, Biotic Components of Ecosystem. These are all the important and repeated questions from previous papers. I hope so. This video will be helpful for your EVS exam preparation. If you like this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Thank you.